being able to lose your salvation is a subtle form of work salvation. Um, and you know, this also comes in the form of, you know, if you don't have the works, then you weren't really saved. Because what they're basically saying is that, you know, you didn't really have salvation. Um, you know, another way to think of it is, well, if you had salvation, you now no longer have it because you didn't keep the works. You know, once saved, always saved is what we believe at this church here. And it's so clear in the Bible that once a person is saved, they're always saved. You know, John 3, that you have everlasting life. It's not something you get in the future. You have it. It's present tense. You know, John 5, 24 says that you shall not come into condemnation. So you're not ever going to be condemned in the future. You know, John 10, 28 says that he'll give unto us eternal life and we shall never perish. So if there's a way, once you have eternal life, you perish then Jesus is lying, isn't he, in John 10, 28? But Jesus can't lie because he's God. You know, Jude 1, 1 says that we're preserved in Jesus Christ. Uh, it's not us that are preserving our salvation. It's Jesus Christ that's preserving it. You know, Ephesians 4.30, I'm just blowing through a couple of these. Ephesians 4.30 says that we're sealed unto the day of redemption. We're not sealed until we commit a really bad sin. We're sealed unto the day of redemption. And Hebrews 13.5 says he'll never leave us nor forsake us. So, you know, once saved, always saved in the Bible is very clear. And, you know, there are basically three ways that people believe that you can lose salvation. Um, one of them is by committing a really bad sin. You know, either it's committing suicide or mur murder. And, you know, that's why when we go soul winning, we give that example, just to, to test their understanding that salvation is eternal. So there are three ways people believe that you can lose your salvation. You know, one is committing a really bad sin. And really all that is, is not keeping the commandments. Because when you sin, you're not keeping the commandments. That's just works. So if you could lose your salvation by committing a really bad sin, you're basically obtaining your salvation by works. But what's another way people believe that you can lose your salvation? They say something like, well, you have eternal life. But if you walk away from the faith, if you, you know, turn away from Jesus Christ, then you'll lose your salvation. Well, what does it mean to walk away from the faith? What do they even mean by that? They mean that you're not keeping the commandments. You know, if you're not keeping the commandments, you're not in church, you're not reading your Bible, then you won't have salvation. And that's just another way of preaching work salvation, that you have to keep the faith in terms of the works. Uh, and if you stop, if you walk away from the faith, or you stop doing the works, then you're not going to be saved. But what's a third way that people think that you can lose your salvation that is a, is a little even more subtle than saying that you'll walk away from the faith or you know, that you're committing a really bad sin? They'll say, like, well, what if I stop believing? If I stop believing, then I, I could lose my salvation because salvation's by faith, but if I stop believing, do I then lose my salvation? Well, number one, no, because I believe salvation is a one-way street. You know, once you believe on Jesus Christ, even if you then tried not to believe, it's too late. Jesus Christ has already has you in his hand. He said, I'll never leave thee nor forsake thee. I'll never, you'll never perish. And the way I like to think of it is this. You know, Simon is my son no matter what. Now, if I'm holding on to Simon, if he's in my hand, the harder he tries to get away from me, what happens? It's the harder I grip, don't I? So if I'm in the hand of Jesus Christ, even if I try to get out of Jesus Christ's hand, he's just going to grip even harder. He's not going to let me get out of his hand. And also, you know, if Simon says, comes to me and says, you know, Dad, I don't believe you're my dad anymore. I believe the guy across my street is my dad. Does that, make, does that stop him from being my son? I mean, he's already born into my family. It's too late. He's my son no matter what. So that's one way we can understand, you know, that even if you were to stop believing, you would still be uh, saved. You would not lose your salvation. But think of it this way as, as well, because, you know, it's a bit subtle to say, well, what if you stop believing, are you, are, you, are you still saved? But think about it this way. If you stop believing on Jesus Christ, if you stop believing that salvation is by grace, what is your only other alternative? To believe it's by works. See, you can't stop believing that salvation is by grace without believing that it's by works. Um, so if somebody believes that they can lose their salvation by, stop, by, by, by ceasing to believe on Jesus Christ and receiving the grace of God, 
Their only other option is to believe it's by works and therefore it's work salvation in, in any way to, to lose your salvation. This is why when you talk to Muslims, you need to understand that they, they actually believe that salvation is by grace because the only people they believe um, that go to hell are non-Muslims. Because if you're a Muslim, but you're a Muslim that doesn't keep the commandments, they believe in a purgatory type hell where they'll just burn and pay off their sins in, in their Muslim purgatory, but they'll still eventually go to heaven. So that's why they're not scared about not being good enough to go to heaven because once they burn off all their sins, they're going to go to heaven regardless. Only if you're not a Muslim, you don't you know, believe in the one God, Allah, are you going to the eternal hell. So in reality, they actually believe in a salvation by grace because they're only trusting Allah to save them. It's just that they don't have their faith on the sacrifice, which is Jesus Christ. They have their faith in a God that can't save, who has promised them mercy but can't give it because they need a saviour to save them. Um, and this is why a Muslim, they, prob they probably don't believe that they can lose their salvation in the sense that they, they don't think that anything they do will ever send them to hell because the only thing that will send them to the eternal hell is not being a Muslim. So I, I guess I hope I'm making myself clear there that if we believe that you can lose your salvation by, by not believing, it's just another form of work salvation because that's your only alternative. But what are a couple of other points in terms of losing your salvation uh, by not believing or being able to lose your salvation by not doing the works? You know, number one, salvation wasn't gained by works, right? It's not by works. So how can it be lost through lack of works? You know, if you didn't, get, if you didn't obtain salvation by doing good works, why then would you lose it by not doing works? You didn't do works to gain it. Um, but and number two, if you weren't good, and this is related, if you weren't good enough to get saved, how can you be bad enough to, to lose salvation? You know, that doesn't even make sense. How can I be bad enough to lose salvation when I wasn't even good enough to get it in the first place? So that doesn't even make sense. Uh, number three, Jesus gave you salvation, therefore it would have to be Jesus that takes it from you, right? Because you didn't earn salvation. Jesus gave it to you, so you can't, by your own power, lose salvation. Jesus would have to take it from you, and that would make him a liar, because he said, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. And number four, something to think about is, you know, when something is free, when something is a gift, when something is grace, it's not a payment plan, is it? It's not like I'm going to give you something free, I'm going to give you this laptop for free, but you have to pay me $100 every year for the next 20 years that's not uh, grace that's works even if you have to pay after you've received the item it still works it's not free so free is not a payment plan so losing your being able to lose your salvation anyone that teaches that you can lose your salvation this is heresy and this is teaching a form of work salvation and it's very subtle even if they say or oh, even if you stop believing or if you uh, fall into uh, heresy, if you fall into uh, a false religion, you could lose your salvation because the only other option to not believing on grace uh, is works. 